Welcome to this channel. I'm Mrs. Sejuma, your instructor. Last week we treated the topic science and technology, and today we are looking at the second phase of it, which says modern science, technology, and societal development. A memory verse is taken from the book of Genesis, chapter 11, verse 5 to 9, and it reads So the Lord scattered them from there over all the heads, and they stopped building the city. That is why it was called Babel, because there the Lord confused the speech of all the world. This verse is telling us that there is no invention that has benefited humans more than that of language. It is a two-edged sword that is uncontrollable for most, but has the potential to build bridges among nations and produce peace. There is power in word. There's power in language. We may all be surprised at what has language has to do with science and technology. Yes, language is an invention and it's true language. The world was created. True language, God, God command and everything come to be. So language is an invention. Learning objectives. At the end of this class, students should be able to state and explain the influence of science and technology on societal development explain the types of traditional science and technology, identify the advantages and the disadvantages of science and technology, examine the factors hindering Nigerian technology growth, suggest solutions to problem of science and technology. Now I want to look at the influence of science and technology on societal development. The influence of science and technology has really helped in the following, in terms of agriculture, Food, animals, and plants can be cultivated in large scale with the aid of fertilizers, with the aid of tractors. The invention of science and technology has made agriculture possible in the world today. We talk of health care. Science and technology has improved our health care system by providing drugs, hospital, and equipment. It has really helped us because most of the diseases and the sickness in the world today that in the olden days we find it difficult to find solution to it, now is made possible in the current world as a result of the invention of science and technology. Sicknesses like diabetes, hypertension, we have drug for them now. Then we talk of transportation. Technology has made transportation become easier. People no longer trek far distance. They can take motorbike, they can take helicopter. Within a short time, they get to their various destinations. We talk of construction. We can see the work of uh, Julius Bega on the construction of road and bridges, skyscrapers, and other forms of construction. Everything has been made easier as a result of the investment of science and technology. We talk of security. Security of life is made very possible as a result of invention of science and technology. We have the invention of CCTV for protection either at home or in the offices. We can also see security officers now use bulletproof to protect themselves. Firefighters equipment is used to fight fire outbreak and so many and so many. And the last one we have food processing. Food processing can be pro processed in a large quantity without being afraid anymore. We can produce me Camilo search it in large quantity because we have preservative to preserve it. We can we can produce drinks, creams, lotion in and so many things we use to take care of our body in large quantity because science and technology has come to stay. We have traditional science and technology. Traditional medicine in the olden days, ancient people were able to identify herbs, herbs like the bark of trees, roots, and they use it to cure sicknesses and diseases. When a child is sick in the olden days, they take the child to Baba or Mama the backyard, and Mama or Baba will gently walk to the backyard, pluck the bark of the tree, boil it with other leaves, and they will give it to the child to take, and once the child takes a little drop of it, the sickness will disappear. We also have blacksmithing. They were able to produce farm implements, 
hunting and weapons of warfare with iron and stone in the olden days. These are the work of our forefathers in the olden days. Then we have hat works. Traditional science and technology produce different brooms casting works, carving of wood, and so many would as a result of hat work. We have food preservation. Traditional science and technology had various ways of preserving food like salting, like smoking, like boiling. All these things have become, you know, were used. All these things were used in the olden days. We have clothes dyeing. They had a way of dyeing clothes with the help of local dye from wood in the olden days. Maybe you use a particular attire and you are tired of the color. You can change the color. These are the various traditional science and technology we use. And the last one, soap making. They produce their soap from palm oil, plantain stem, and some other additives. These are the various ways of traditional science and technology in the olden days. Then we have advantages and disadvantages of science and technology. As part of the advantage, it makes man's work easier and faster. It makes man's life more comfortable. Of course, everybody likes comfort. Most homes these days now will have AC. When you come from sun, you put on your AC, you are, you are in your comfort zone. Unlike in the olden days, you go and have your breath at the backyard, but after some time, it, you start feeling the heat. It makes traveling easier and faster with the use of aeroplane, even nice cars. It gives color to the physical outlook of the world. The advancement in technology has created employment of opportunities for everyone. If you are brilliant and you have good ideas, with the knowledge of science and technology, you can set up, you can be on your own. It will make us independent as a nation rather than depending on other nations. What are the disadvantages of science and technology? It has led to the destruction of the ozone layer of the atmosphere, that is the climate change and global warming. Modern science and technology has increased crime rates. The current use of sophisticated weapons has made it easier to commit crime. This is one of the serious disadvantages of science and technology. It has encouraged high crime rate in the society. It has resulted in the pollution of the environment. Our land has been polluted, the air polluted and water pollution. That the animals in the water are now dying as a result of chemicals or waste products from factory. Lives and properties are destroyed through involvement in various types of accidents. Of course, what we created by ourselves is now the thing that is killing us. Factors injuring Nigerian tech factors injuring Nigerian technologies growth. Now we have talked about science and technology. Why are we experiencing hindrances to growth of technology in Nigeria today? Number one is lack of loyalty spirits among Nigerians. When you love yourself more than your neighbor, when you are not sincere, of course there won't be growth. Lack of dedication to duty by Nigerians. Most Nigerians are not dedicated. Some people prefer to do high service, which is not fair. Our quest for foreign imported rather than homemade. Some people so much believe in imported, they don't even value what they have in their home country. All this local made shoe and bag, we don't have reference for them, we don't value them. So most people believe in imported things. With this, the nation will not grow. High rates of corruption among people holding public offices. Our leaders, most of them are corrupt. So if all these things can put can be stopped, then we will experience growth in Nigeria. Indiscipline and laziness among our Nigerian youths. You can see in the world today, our youths are corrupt. They don't want to read. Some people don't want to go to school. Even those that are in school, they are lazy to read their books. When all these things continue, the country will not experience growth in terms of technology. Now, what are the solutions to some of these problems? There should be peaceful resolution of national and international conflicts. The United Nations Organization and the AU should always resolve international conflict through dialogue rather than war. There should be recycling. We should reuse some things that we have used, like bottles can be reused 
some of our slippers can be reused for other things. Alternative sources of energy should be found to reduce reliance on crude oil. We should not only depend on crude oil, other sources of uh, products can be relied upon, not only crude oil, crude oil. This will reduce environmental pollution coming from generators and machines. In conclusion, the impact of science and technology on modern society is so broad and wide-ranging, influencing such areas as in politics, in diplomacy, in defense, the economic medicine. Science and technology have thus far brought humanity immeasurable benefit. I totally agree that science and technology has really done more good but the disadvantage is still on the other side. It has really helped. We we'll talk of research for students, you know, the assignment that a child cannot do by himself, but with the help of internet and all these things, the child can do the assignment without harm. The nation needs exceptionally able scientists, engineers, and health professionals like you and me to serve in executive positions in the federal government and on federal adversary committees the world is looking up to you boys and girls the world is depending on you let us use our knowledge of science and technology to help develop the world let us use our knowledge of science and technology to bring hope for our country let us use the the knowledge of science and technology that we have acquired to make our country a better place you can be one thank you i remain yours <laughs>